Hello, myself, Dr. D. K. Shadge, Professor in Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering Department, AISSMS Institute of Information Technology, Pune. Today, I am going to uh, show here how to find out the how to apply the initial and final value theorem of the Laplace transform. In many applications, what we need is to find out the initial and final value of f of t, which is nothing but our function in a time domain. And we used to uh, have the Laplace transform for the analysis purpose. Then number of times we need that uh, we, uh, we need to have the initial value and final value of f of t, which is nothing but the in each our uh, function in a time domain from its Laplace transform. These equations are of Laplace transform. One equation is analysis, another equation is synthesis. Means uh, Laplace transform equation of Laplace transform of f of t and equation of inverse Laplace transform of f of s. Initial value theorem states that the initial value of f of t means limit of f of t as t tends to zero is given by limit s into f of s as s tends to infinity means initial value of f of t we can directly find out from laplace transform it's a laplace transform f of s by multiplying by s and then letting s tend to infinity and final value of uh, laplace transform final value of f of t which is f of infinity will be given by limit s uh, s tends to zero of s into f of s means we multiply f of s by s and now letting s tend to 0 will give you final value of the f of t. Let us take example of one of the function f of s is equal to s plus 2 divided by s plus 1 square plus 5 square that is s plus 1 square plus 25 and let us find out first of all initial value. So we have to multiply by s this Laplace transform and then let apply s tend to infinity. So s tends to infinity and then apply uh, s multiplied by f of s. s multiplied by s plus 2, s plus 1 square in denominator plus 5 square. How to evaluate in such case? We have to take the highest degree term common from numerator and highest degree term common from denominator. We have to cancel out. If same are the degrees of numerator and denominator, then definitely the, it will attain uh, a finite value. But we need to take highest degree term common from numerator and highest degree term common from denominator, s square common from numerator, s square common from denominator, cancellation. And what is left behind will be 1 plus 2 upon s in numerator and 1 plus 2 upon s plus 26 upon s square in denominator. Then you can substitute s equal to infinity. 2 upon s will be tending to 0 and 26 upon s square also will be tending to 0, the answer will come out to be 1. Similarly, we can find out the final value of f of t also of this Laplace transform function. It's the inverse f of t. We have to multiply f of s by s and we have to let s tend to 0. So then in case of, in such case, whenever limit s tends to 0, we need to substitute as it is the values of s, but s is the multiplier in numerator. That's why the function will tend to 0. So the final value will come out to be 0. Initial value will come out to be 1. Let us have another example, another numerical of finding out the initial value and the final value. Uh, f of s is given by s plus 2 bracket square minus 3 square and denominator s plus 2 bracket square plus 3 square and uh, how to find out the final value limit s tends to 0 s into f of s so you need to substitute simply s and you will get that uh, s is the multiplier in the numerator that's why its a final value com will come out to be 0 and initial value also you can find out initial value for initial value you need to evaluate s into f of s as s tends to infinity that will be initial value s will be multiplying to numerator you have to take common higher degree term common from numerator s cube will be the term common from numerator and s square will be the term common from denominator s s cube divided by s s will remain in numerator and in uh, other terms will be 1 plus 2 upon s bracket square minus 3 square upon s square 1 plus 2 upon s bracket square plus 3 upon s bracket square in denominator but s is multiplying uh, remaining there multiplier in the numerator and that's why as s tends to infinity the value will tend to infinity that's why initial value will be infinity and final value will be zero thank you